Hello all, welcome back. So this video is for people who are looking to get into DevOps in 2020. One common question that people ask me, and that's a very relevant question, is what are the top skills or what are the important skills that you have to focus to get a job in DevOps in 2020? One thing that I want to make it very clear here is I'm not attending any interviews in 2020. So I don't know what exactly that's going on around here, but I have done my research. I spoke to my friends who are in the market today and who are attending the interviews. They gave me a couple of questions and skills that are required. I also did some research from the job portals to just rate what are the skills that are still relevant when compared to when I have entered into DevOps market in 2015. So I'm gonna break this video into two categories of skills. One skills, one set of skills that are must have to get a job and second category of skills are good to have. So without further ado, let's get into the skills and stay tuned till end of the video because I'm gonna give you the right skills that are very important. When I attended a lot of interview jobs in 2015 and you know, the common questions and the common skills that were required back then were first, the overall understanding of your SDLC, like what is DevOps, you know, how it is important, how it is relevant in the market, uh, like how it is relevant today. Why do you need it? So those are the key concepts, like, you know, concepts of CICD, understanding of SDLC, what happens when you commit the code and how it goes to the production. So these are the skills that are still relevant today in 2020. So that is important. So that's uh, one skill that you all need. Understanding and the concepts of DevOps. I'm going in the order of CICD pipeline. So the next important skill is Git. So Git is very important as you all know without git you cannot even commit the code and it's a version control git is the most common tool that is used uh, in every company today so git is very important practice a lot around git uh, git commands git fetch git merge git pull etc and merge conflicts so th those things are important so that's important skill to have so next important skill is understanding the ci tools like jenkins travis ci or uh, you know, go CD, etc. So these uh, tools are very important, and, uh, and I have described in my previous video why Jenkins is still the best tool in the terms of CI, and you have to focus only on that tool instead of worrying too much about any other tools. So practice a lot on Jenkins. But before I go into the next skill, one thing that I would state here is before you even learn any tools, be very strong on Linux. I, I might be a little biased over Linux uh, and I don't want to raise any debate here between Linux and Windows if you are a Windows fan. But having attended interviews, I can tell you with confidence that Linux is very important and there are a lot of questions that are asked in interviews about Linux. You don't have to go into the depth of system administration of Linux but there are some things that, so there are some key Linux commands that you have to learn which I'm going to maybe discuss in future videos when it when I t discuss about the interview questions of Linux and stuff. But Linux is one important skill to get a job in DevOps in 2020. So the other important skill and uh, the skill that is commonly used in companies like the configuration management tools like Puppet or Ansible or Chefs, you don't have to stick to one tool. In general, if you look uh, for the jobs in the market for DevOps, they would say, having good understanding of configuration management tool, either Ansible, either Puppet or Chef. So they don't specifically mention that you have to have only on Ansible or Puppet or something like that. But I prefer to use Ansible. So, you know, if you want to pick one, I would suggest you all to pick Ansible. Now, if I compare to back then and now, uh, the skills and pretty much are still same. The maturity of the skills have improved, meaning the questions, the toughness of interviews uh, have improved a lot. For example, at that time, they used to ask me the basics of Docker. Now, the most important skill is not only understanding the Docker, but understanding beyond just basics of Docker, but also understanding Kubernetes or Swarm or you know all those Mesos cluster, clustering of Docker containers. So these, these skills are very important. So we have discussed about the skills that are still relevant in the market since five years. Now the new skills, I think, are more important in 2020 with DevOps, if you want to get a job, are Terraform. So Terraform, like I've said in my one of the video, it's so important tool. And I would suggest you all to learn Terraform because of uh, the multi-cloud nature, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can get into the details of Terraform in, in that video. But Terraform is important to build a skill on Terraform. And 
one important skill I see these days along with any DevOps job description is cloud. So you have to learn at least one cloud service provider. Either it could be AWS or Google or Azure or Oracle, but that's very important. And some companies are very specific about what they need. Like they would say in the job description, I need person who has good hands-on experience with AWS. Or if they are uh, you know, in Google, they would specifically say that I need person to be hands-on experience in Google. If not, you know, they will say that either it could be AWS or Google or Azure. So after you have covered all these skills, after you have good sound understanding of all these skills, the other skill that is very important um, is having at least one scripting language experience, like Python or Shell or Perl. Based out of my experience, I have when I attended interviews, they would ask me questions around these things about Python, Linux and Shell. Before I go into the good to have skills, one thing that you will be constantly asked in the interview, meaning you will be questioned around understanding your thought process of connecting the tools and how you would come up with a solution when a given problem is there. So that's where they mention it as a problem solving skill and that's the most common skill and that's the very important skill that I would suggest you all to focus on. I know it's, it's not easy to develop but you can think through different scenarios and you can come up with solutions and sometimes these skills are developed over the period of time with experience but if you are a uh, you know if you don't have prior devops experience what i would suggest you is you have to practice uh, different scenarios looking over internet you know based on the interview questions and see how you can solve the same problem in different ways using different tools different technologies and and how would you overcome those problems so that that they call it as a critical thinker and problem solving capability now having discussed all the must to have skills. Now we are going to discuss about good to have. Before I get into that section, feel free to comment if I missed anything and let me know if you want more of this content and do subscribe to my channel. Now the good to have skills are understanding the network concepts like DNS, uh, layer four, layer seven, OSL layers um, and uh, TCP, UDP differences. So these are very important network concepts. So it's it's good to have the understanding of this because as a as a DevOps engineer, you should have overall understanding of what's going on around. So this is important. And the second thing is application monitoring using APM tools uh, like Dynatrace, New Relic. These these things are important as well. And logging how to use FluentD, Elk Stack. Uh, so that that's important. Too. And another good to have is understanding the concepts of security. Like how would you incorporate security into DevOps, um, understanding the Fortify scans, black ducks, how are they useful? How do you incorporate them into your DevOps CI CD pipeline? So those things are important too. So I hope I have covered the important skills that you know now that you can prepare for your uh, DevOps journey in 2020. So if you like this video, do click on like and share it to your friends so that they can learn from this video and I hope it'll, it's going to be super helpful for them to crack their uh, DevOps interview and I wish you good luck and let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you all for watching this video. Bye for now.